He's moved on, and now he is up for the live shows. Josh Halverson, first of all, I know that this compares nothing to you, but can you stop doing this to us? Can you can you stop keeping us on the edge of our seats and this emotional roller coaster? Not that you've not been on an, an emotional roller coaster since you've gotten to The Voice, but you're killing us. Oh, I know. Did you see that picture I posted on Instagram? It was um, Thunderbird just passed out on the couch with like a little voice trophy next to him. <laughs> the pressure got too intense for him. Yeah, it's been... I mean, your heart just kind of breaks and then remends it, remends itself like all in a second. So, well, I just—it's I mean, such so good. So I good almost turned it off it. on Tuesday because I just thought it was a done deal. Like oh, the, no. the way Miley was with you, she's like, "Oh my God, I have goosebumps!" And then the way she acted during your performance and gave you a standing ovation, I'm like, "It's a done deal. He's moving on. We're done." And then she's like, um, "Who was your?" Your knockout, Aaron? Yeah, Aaron. Yeah. Gibson. She's like, I'm going to save Aaron. And I'm like, what? Where did that come from? <laughs> what are you doing? So, yeah. I mean, I just thought that you were a shoe in You were good to go. It was done. It was over. And then I'm like, Miley, I was starting to like you. You were turning me over, <laughs> Miley. And then now, no, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. It was such a crazy roller coaster. And it was intense, too. I got the, I mean, I played one of Tim McGraw's songs in front of him and his wife. Did they you feel, know so. that Tim and Faith were going to be the mentors when you picked the song? I had no idea. No, not a clue. And, that's, like, we pick our own songs for that. That's crazy. Yeah, right. So, so intense. And I didn't even know they were going to be there. So, I literally, I walked out onto the stage and saw them there. Now it's all like it was filmed live, so. And when, when like, you perform, no, no <laughs> What's that? I gotta ask you this question because when you perform, you know you can look at some people, and you can tell their nerves have kicked in. You can hear it in their voices. You have such ease, and you have just such. You're so calm. How do you do that? Um, I mean, in that moment, I knew that. The only way I was going to be satisfied, like, with my performance was if I laid it all on the line. Like, if I just put myself completely out there. And anytime you get nervous and get into those situations, it hinders you from, like, expressing your heart. Right. And who you are, individuality. So I really had to kind of dig deep and just center myself and constantly check myself. Because it's kind of like accounting. If you let the numbers build up, it just gets out of control, you know. And you can so get overwhelmed. You kind of have to check those. Yeah, you have to check those emotions and really try to stay centered and not. I mean, you can control your mind. You can control like your thoughts, and it's really hard, especially in that kind of high pressure pressure of situation. But um, I don't know. I I I talked to my wife a lot too. That helped. It helped me stay grounded in love. So. Well, speaking of families, my mom and your mom go way, way back. So they've, <laughs> they've been chatting back and forth. And um, so my mom is all about keeping up with you. So my mom, and she's not real social media guru kind of thing. She's not really. But my mom has been calling me and telling me every time you move up the charts. And that's, of course, the iTunes charts because that's how people show um, their support for you right now is on iTunes. And you've been doing very well. And she actually called me last night and she told me, um, Josh is up there with Kenny Chesney and Keith Urban. He's at the top. <laughs> she goes, he's up there with your man, Kenny Chesney. And I said, I know this mom. <laughs> And she was like, we did just like Blake. And we downloaded that song at the minute that we could. And I'm oh, like, awesome. I said, mom, I'm so proud. I'm, I don't know you, how you know how to, how to do that, but you did it. And I'm so proud. <laughs> she figured it out for you, Josh. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't believe it. It was just mind blowing. I, I went to bed that night after the performance, and it was, I mean, it was already up in top 40 and overall, like, overall genres. And 
then uh, all of a sudden, like, I woke up the next morning and we were top 20. And it was, I can't, I mean, it's still, I can't talk about it too much because I'll start crying. I just have Aww. so much, like, gratitude towards everybody supporting that. And especially with it being, you know, recorded and performed so in such a vulnerable state, you know, just me and my guitar and being able to, like, have my guitar on a recording with me and us just doing it together. Well, it's amazing. It, I feel like I'm in a relationship with my guitar, too, you know. Well, and to have somebody like Blake Shelton say, I'm going to go download that right now. How awesome is that? <laughs> so cool. And for him to even say, like, that I'm one of his favorite artists on the show it just means so much to me, too. You know, he, I listen to him. I mean, we've all listened to him coming from West Texas, you know, Panhandle. Like, he's been playing on all of our radio stations forever. Now, so, moving forward, let's talk about going forward with the lives. Now, uh, you go live Monday night on The Voice. Um, you Five artists per, te- per team will all perform uh, Monday night. And then you will all be cut down to 12. So you go from 20 to 12. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. So it's, let's uh, let's talk about this. It's scary to even think about it. Yeah, that, and the only way to really vote is through um, the voice app, like downloading the, the voice app, and um, which is really user-friendly. You can also... also be the, tweeting, like, once Twitter posts um, my hashtag, mm-hmm. tweeting that post is another, like, one-for-one vote. You so can also um, vote at thevoice.com. Yeah, yeah, thevoice.com. Thevoice.com. Uh, Twitter goes, like, fast, I think, right? It goes, like, instant, doesn't it? Well, not yeah. that they all don't go, but I know that uh, NBC does a lot with Twitter and all that. And um, we do know that it will come down to uh, America choosing three people per team. And then a coach will save an artist. Isn't that correct? Yeah, well, America... A coach will choose one artist, and then America can save two. So okay, yeah, there's three. Team. Three from each team. Okay, I can't do the math. Sorry. Um, uh, that's no. why I'm in radio, not math. Um, <laughs> 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 so yeah. so and, uh, America will save and, two. So our, our goal is here to get you on America's vote. That way we don't have to leave it up to Alicia again. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I need all the support I can get, especially from, like, my hometown or my home area, you know, of the panhandle. I just need everybody kind of to help, you know, by joining forces and really getting that app. Because you can vote for somebody ten times on the app. Okay. And, like, Twitter's for one, which is still important. But, that I mean, the app, you just can... I mean, you can vote 10 times on the app. Right. So the Voice app, you can download it on your phone. It's free. You can vote at uh, thevoice.com and then, of course, uh, on Twitter. So, Josh, we just want you to know that you have our votes. We are 100% behind you. And I do have one more question for you. Um, In your music choices, we have kind of seen you um, do kind of more slower ballad songs uh, with Forever Young and then with Whiskey and You. Uh, Well, we see any more up tempo or some music changes in the future? Um, yeah. I mean, just like my live performances, I love to kind of give like a roller coaster ride effect, you know? Like, I mean, you can't just stick on one emotion or one feeling, you know, especially when you're trying to get people to reconnect with themselves. You kind of got to go. It, it, the, I got some some tricks up my sleeve for this live round. It's going to be really... I want to bring out the sensual side of me. So, um, can I get re- in touch with, like... You know, it's been so serious. And so, do you um, feel back at home on Team Alicia? Oh, yeah. I love her. She's awesome. Was it kind of like great. you just I, ran away I, for a little I, while, but now you're back home? Yeah. It was cool, but it was fun, though. Like, I had so much fun with Miley, and I, even if I was still on her team, I know we'd still be having fun, and she's such an artist, and I love that about her. And But Alicia, we just are on the same page of 
spiritual truth, getting people to be resensitized with themselves and building community. And I, I love that. The light that we're going to project through these live playoffs is just going to be incredible. If I have the support of the listener and my fans and my family, you know, I need this. I need their backing to help me stay in this so that we can project the light that is necessary for the world to see. Well, Josh, we wish you the best of luck. We will be voting for you. We will be tuned in every single week. And, uh, you know, if it even comes to it, we have the opportunity. I would love to sit in the audience and hold up a sign. Um, you know, it says, we love you, Josh. We got your back. You know, whatever. So if, if that's all possible, we would even love to come out to L.A. to support you. Um, that's, how, that's how much support you have from us here in Texas, here in West Texas. And... Uh, we, we love you. We wish the best for you. And you have our votes. We are behind you. Thank you so much, Gwen. It means so much to hear that. And I appreciate y'all get out there and have watch parties and get together and join um, join forces and hang out and have fun with it. We're going to have fun with it. All right. Good luck. Keep it on low.